Hi everyone, uh, I got this idea for a care box which I wanted to show you. Now this is just a concept, so it still has a few bugs, but the basic idea is that you can make a 6-speed sequential gearbox without using any specialized parts like the ones that came in the new Chiron. So basically what you have here is a 6-speed sequential gearbox which uses this kind of a setup with only two active gears engaged at once which means it's very efficient and very robust. So how does it work? So if we check here, the red axle is the motor axle, you can see it goes all the way here and this is the motor axle and the black spinning thing, that's the output. Now currently the gearbox is in its lowest gear which means it has the highest gear ratio. This is the 6th gear, 5th gear, 4th gear, 3rd gear, 2nd gear, 1st gear, come on, yeah, and 1st gear. So we have 6 gears and you can gear up or gear down easily. Now, how does it work? Let's take it apart and see. So, the first thing we have is the gear switching module. It is uh, inspired by Chiron's one. Basically, Instead of 4 uh, output it uses 6, you can switch them here and this little bit is keeping the gear in its place. So we have 6 different positions here. Okay, then we have the switching system. This is the switching system. So, the output from the gears box selector goes and rotates this assembly and you can see one pair of uh, gear selectors here, one here and one here. They are arranged so that every 60 degrees uh, one of them is engaged. Now this is the heart of the gearbox. So these selectors, they push on these wheels and these wheels in turn switch the gears, switch the selector of the gears. And they are made, the selectors are set up in such manner that first it pushes this wheel up, uh, down, then it pushes the second wheel down and then it goes to another pair. So it pushes this down and this down, this down and this down. So basically if we check from above it goes from highest gear, lowest, lower, lower, lower and lower. So it goes sequentially. It goes to uh, highest gear, lower gear, lower, lower, lower and lower. This is how it works. Now, I'm gonna also remove this part of the gearbox so we can see even more details. This is basically the gearbox. As you can see, there are two uh, axles at a slight angle which allow the different gear ratios to be engaged by using only 16 tooth clutch gears here. So we have 16 to 8, 16 to 12, 16 to 16, 16 to 12 to 20, 16 to 24, and 16 to 28 here. So we have uh, lots of uh, different gear ratios. So let's rebuild the gearbox. 
So first we have the main gearbox assembly with the switching gears, three of them, total of six gears. Next we have the switching assembly, each switching assembly uses these pairs of wheels to switch the gears and on the other hand, on the other side, we have the rubber parts which keep the, the gearbox centered when it's not engaged. So this is crucial so that the gearbox is not in two gears at the same time which can of course uh, cause damage. It's never a good thing to have gearbox in two different gears at once. So each of these are made in the same way. So these go on top of the gearbox. So now this is on top and you can see how the gears can be switched here. Now here comes the axle which is used for engaging the rings. So you can now already see how the gears are switched. So if you go in slow motion, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, fifth gear, sixth gear. And again, you can see the sequences working here. Then we have the switching system. And lastly, we have the frame which holds everything together. So, as you can see the gearbox works. Uh, fifth, uh, we have the highest gear, fifth gear, fourth gear, third gear, second gear, and the highest gear. Uh, I hope uh, you guys uh, like the idea and will improve on this concept.